Hello, my name is David Gessner. This is more or less the presentation I gave for the IEEE ETFA conference in Krakow, Poland in September 2012. It is about a work in progress paper that won the best paper award at the mentioned conference. The paper is titled A First Qualitative Evaluation of Star Replication Schemes for FTTCAN. As the title indicates, the work is related to FTTCAN and star topologies. FTTCAN stands for Flexible Time Triggered CAN. It is therefore a time triggered version of CAN, but with added flexibility. To understand what flexibility means in this context, consider a distributed embedded system and its environment. In a static environment, the communication requirements are fixed and known beforehand. On the other hand, in a dynamic environment, the communication requirements may change over time. So when we say that an approach is flexible, we mean that it can adapt to changing requirements. FTTCAN is such a flexible approach. It achieves this flexibility by using master multi-slave communication. Specifically, the messages between the master and the slaves are what allow FTTCAN to be flexible. FTTCAN has originally been designed on top of the standard CAN bus. This, unfortunately, can be a problem because a bus topology has multiple single points of failure. That is, an error at almost any point can lead to a global failure. As a solution, we propose to use star topologies. In a star, the nodes are connected to a central element such as a hub. So if a permanent error occurs at a node or a link, a properly designed hub can isolate the corresponding port. In this way, the remaining nodes can continue to communicate. However, note that the hub is still a single point of failure. So if the hub fails, we again have a global failure. The solution is obviously to replicate the hub. This gives us a replicated star topology. In such a topology, there are several hubs to which each of the nodes are connected. So if a hub fails, communication can continue through the other hub. So on the one hand, we have FTTCAN, which introduces flexibility. And on the other hand, we have replicated star topologies, which can provide better reliability. For continuous operation under dynamic environments, we need both flexibility and high reliability. Our goal is therefore to combine these two approaches by designing a replicated star topology for FTTCAN. This raises several design questions. As an example, I will discuss one of these, namely how to replicate the master. Remember that FTTCAN is a master multi-slave protocol. This means that if a master fails, then a failure of the whole system occurs. It is therefore necessary to replicate the master. This allows the system to continue functioning, even if a master fails. How do we add master replication to an FTTCAN replicated star? In order to answer that, we need to decide on several issues. As an example, let us consider the master location. Master replication will be different if the masters are within the hubs than if they are within nodes. Similarly, master replication also depends on the number of active masters. For instance, we could have only one active master with the others acting as spares or we could have multiple active masters. In this latter case, it is necessary for the masters to agree on the messages they transmit. Master replication is just one of the design questions we face. Overall, there are many design decision decisions that need to be made. We do not only need to decide on the master location and the number of active masters, we also need to decide how to avoid the partitioning of the nodes into subsets that cannot communicate with each other, how to handle duplicates caused by the star redundancy, how to handle retransmissions of messages affected by transient faults, and many other things. 
There are, therefore, many options for designing a star replication scheme for FTDCAN. Which option to choose is not trivial. So what should we do? The answer is that we need to do a quantitative evaluation of different design options. Since we are still at the early stages of this evaluation, I conclude the presentation by saying that this is still future work. I'll provide a link to the paper in the description for this video. You might also find it by doing a search for it in Google Scholar. Thank you very much for your attention.